Hello, every single buddy all around the world. Welcome to Play Some Game Show! I will be your host and translator. My name is Jamon. I have been reading chat. Boy, and I checked with them. I have to say, the gang, I'm sorry. Right again, my name is Jemon, I am a streamer and also I'll be a translator and host. There'll be four people talking and I'll be translating the games and these people. Okay, so I hope chat bears with me and the show. Let's go. I had to say it, man, I had to say it. Okay, that was Matsuzawa san, she is an anchor woman. And this is Mizutani san, he is from Playism. He is a, man, he's a knowledgeable person for indie games. And this is Gachiman, he is uh, a VTuber now, but he's a long time content creator. And that is Kirin san. <laughs> he's also a content creator. He's usually anonymous. He's totally anonymous. So he usually never comes. So that's him. As an avatar, I think. Oh man, I know I know chat. I've been reading chat. I've I've checked with them. I checked with them. They said I, I was wondering. I'm so sorry. Okay, I know there's bilinguals also in the chat, so if I miss anything, please help me out. I won't be translating every single bit, but hopefully... Yeah. Okay, yeah, so Kirin and Gachiman, they are big streamers, um, co sorry, big content creators, and yeah, they've been working together for quite a few times too. Man, that giraffe, and the person, not the person, sorry, the arm underneath the giraffe, man, he's going to be tired. Okay, so there will be four people, first me on the side. Oh, yes. If you tweet with hashtag Playzone Game Show, you'll have a chance to win a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X. I want this. Did anyone... Did anyone... Did anyone succeed? You're making a reservation for it? Yeah. Yeah.そしてあの当選者の方にはこちらで次世代機の準備ができ次第発送させていただきますのでよろしくお願いいたします。なのでちょっと。<laughs> oh, oh, she tweeted about the hashtag uh, plays on game show. Okay. <laughs> oh man, he's yeah, the guy with glasses is really big. <laughs> so they say once they acquire places in 5 or Xbox Series X, they'll send it out to the places that is possible to send. え、番組で紹介しますが、あの、次世代機でインディーゲームはえ、これからも最前線に活躍し続けるというのであの、ツイートをぜひしていただいて、あの、当たるチャンスが本当にありますので、あの、ぜひチャレンジしてみていただいて
So they have to explain what plays and what publishing and what developing is the difference. I presume you guys know a lot. I haven't seen many Japanese uh, indie games either, so I'm looking forward to this too. Yeah, they're saying that so many indie games are just they're just drowning or they don't show up. Even on Steam, right? How many games now? Close to more than 100 games a day or something? Mm. Okay, so Playzoom has uh, published about 250 games in total now. That's a lot. And 90 titles on Steam. And about 60 titles on console. In total of 300 titles. Oh! So they were up to the top six of number of publishing. <laughs> ガチマンさんと麒麟さんもプレイズムのタイトルでたぶん足並みがあるものも多いんじゃないでしょうかそうですねあれ、ジャスコンとトークバーワーカンドタイトルでそうですねそうですねこれ辺は記憶に新しい
あの今回我々がパブリッシュするにあたって日本語のボイスをあのつけさせて。Oh, there's also Japanese voice in. 進撃の巨人のミカサ。ミカサ from シン、え、uh, え、uh, uh, Titan。あのやられた石川由依さんっていうあのすごく有名な石川由依。方に、She's doing the voice for it。もう人しかいないのではないかと。Man。ご依頼させていただいて石川由依さんの声が。Go from the anime ミカサ。嬉しいです。めちゃくちゃ豪華なあの。This is good。This game is good。で、で何よりこのゲームすごいのがあの。このゲームはあの中国のデベロッパーが作って一人で作って。Yes, a Chinese guy and one person. He's now 24 years old. Yes, on Unreal, Unreal Engine. I heard that he's been making games from like 15 years old. Man, props on Unreal Engine too. An FYQD Studio. So he's an individual developer, 24 years old, and he is、uh, still making the game. Yeah, I really agree. It. it is fast-paced, so it might be hard for some people, but. あるんですけど、エクスもちょっとあのお安い版みたいな感じ。まあそちらでもリリースされると思いますので、あの楽しみにしていただければと思いますというのがあの今回の新発表になります。はい。ね、あのコメント欄でもこれ面白くてでね。So it seems that the I wonder if they will talk about Bright Memory in Finland. Oh, there's a comment from the developer himself. Wonder if there's English. Hello, I'm indie game Bright Memory、uh, developer FYQD. Today I have two good news for you. Firstly, Bright Memory is coming into Xbox、uh, Series X. Yeah, it's going to be unreleased. Okay. Oh, we're trying、uh, try to do it at launch. Next is September 25th. Nvidia RTX 30 series. He made a version for RTX 3, 3000 series. Bright Memory Infinite RTX Benchmark. I only have a 2080 Super. Oh, this is going to try ray tracing on it. Oh my word. Wait, only for the 30 series though? Dude, do you know how much? Oh wow. On September 25th, Bright Memory Infinite Steam Store page, you can download it for free.、Uh, uh, <laughs> Eesh. Anyone go to the RTX 3000? Yeah, the graphics are amazing. Yeah, but the, the, the gameplay is also good. 24 years old. I was thinking back what, did, what he was doing when he was 24. What was I doing when I was 24? I'm drunk, mad. I'm playing games. Yeah, right. Th three,、uh, I think 3070. No, 3070, 3060 is quite good. Yeah.、Uh, I think the benchmark comparison ain't too bad at all. And I just bought 2080S、um, last month. The draft's going to be up there for two hours, boys. So, for November, was it November 10th? Was it? That's JP time. So, check your, check your own、um, time region. Two hours of pure joy. で進められております素晴らしいクオリティのものを彼は作っているのを楽しみにしていただければと思います。で、あのちょっとブライトメモリーっていうのブライトメモリーインフィニットが開発中、はいはい。はい。で、あのそもそもブライトメモリーっていうのはあの彼が確か仕事しながらだったので。The original bright memory he was、uh, making while he was working. まあささじゃないんですけど、はい、ちょっと作ってみたらものすごくヒットしました。But it made a big hit. 結構お金が入ってきて。Ah, and he earned quite a lot. Oh, okay. So, because there was so much、um, really、good reviews from it, from the game, he decided to, I guess, re, not remake, but、uh, build from scratch again to make it properly. So, Bright Memory Infinite is going to be like a. 
It's the same concept, but start from scratch. Kind of thing. Thanks, guys. Have you guys tried ray tracing? Man, ray tracing was amazing. I tried it in Minecraft. That was. But really heavy on the computer, though. He's explaining about ray tracing now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Portal 2. <laughs> Portal 2 is a great game, though. I love it. Portal 3 win. I'm <laughs> talking about how the developer just started making a bright memory again. Yeah, because RTX series one, even I think you need a quite high end. This is a, what's this? A trailer? It's a oh, the RTX version. I love cyberpunk. That looks gorgeous. Whoa. Stred? The movie? Is she went supersonic or something? That looks Ooh, is that product placement? No, it's bright memory. Wait, that's a generic gunshot. That looks amazing, though. You see that? Whoa! So the benchmark soft is going to be uh, available on September 25th. ないこうなのにずっと我々ええ、ないじゃん。いや、ええ、ですね。もう張り切ってるかみたいな。ええ。人でね、あの、ハザリーも it's amazing what people can do. Like, what, what am I doing during my free time there? A whole, but you know, remember, guys, there's a promotional video and there's an actual gameplay. But looking at other games, I think the gameplay now, the, the difference between promotional video and the in, actual in game, the gap is really narrower now. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Really happy about that. <laughs> that's true. That's, I didn't see any weight on the, on the fighting there. Just put it in your wish list. Okay, remember, guys, putting in. Uh, putting a game into a wish list really helps out. It, it helps generate a motivation, and the publisher thinks that, oh, this game is good, so I will invest more money into it. It helps out really well. So putting it into your wish list on Steam is for free. Do that. I have like 500 games on my uh, wish list now. Man, I might try it with my um, 28DS. Do you think it'll run? Cheers, Okay, that was Bright Memory. Thank you very much.
ここからは怒涛のインディータイトル紹介に移ろうと思います。OK、インディータイトルズマン、レッツドゥディス。メタルギア。Yes, this is Mathias from in between games. Reading you loud and clear. I'm calling to inquire about the test subject, my goose. How are the combat trials going? Ah, yes, my goose. The test subject has exceeded all expectations. We did the trials without an issue and even set new records. I love it when developers act. <laughs> right. I play this a bit, it's good fun. Good old gun action. Protagonist is a bounty hunter goose. That sound effect, though. That was mighty goose. How does the goose cry? No, that's wrong. Brazen confirmed as publisher PC console version schedule for 2021 release. Okay, it's by a developer called Blast Mode. So the Brazen group, they like play many games, of course, and it was 2020 number one. いろんなゲーム販売するにあたって、まあ審査というと偉そうですけど、まあゲームをプレイして売ろうか。あ、グース、thanks man。That's a goose, right? Was that a duck for me? <laughs> okay, so yeah, so they played a lot of games. I think five people they said here. Um, everyone loved it. Yeah, there's a lot of artistic, you know, like the emotional games recently. But that went right around. It just loves a goose breaking, destroying stuff and shooting. Yeah, that, uh, this game reminded him of yes, this is a game. This is how we should play games. It feel oh, he had this feel good emotion. Mm, I agree though. You know, I love these you know aesthetic, beautiful games, but just the brain dead shoot 'em up. So it's also good, isn't it? Goose Jump can be emotional as well. You're right there. Okay, they also so the developer also made a game called Kunai. Yeah, which was also good. I've seen the pictures of it. I haven't played it yet. It does look good. The gameplay uh, does feel nice, smooth. Mm. And yeah, the developers probably liked the. Uh, well, they had, what do you call it? They had um, impact from Contra and uh, Metal Slug, which you can see and hear. Yeah, so during the game, I also had a hands-on play of it. Uh, so in, you can buy games in. Uh, you can buy uh, guns in game. Not microtransactions, but after you kill the enemies, you can uh, buy, ga uh, buy guns and vehicles too. The thing was that it was quite hard, so you have to use the dodge really well. But the shoot 'em up part was really good. It was just like a goose going wild, man. 
Goose ごすごい。そう、ハッドセイ。Goose ンダー。クラウドキーバー、ウォーズのメイズ、ウィスクスウェイ。あ、really? あ、OK、クーコー。あ、そうだ、ちょっと待って。えー、okay, so they're going to open up the store page soon after this、uh, program. So they're going to try and aim it to be on 2020. Okay, release. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. It was hard though. I'm really bad at those shoot 'em up action games. You need to be able to, you know,、uh, was it project? Not project, what's the word? Where you need to find where the,、uh, where the bullets are going to go. I just want to run in and gun, run in gun style. なんかコメントでね、これ、キリンさんがすごいお好きそうみたいのを、ね、おっしゃってるかどうかって。プレイしましたけど、ね、あこれはあのー、操作性もねあの、思ったように動いて。The giraffe says that <laughs> the gameplay is good,、uh, the reaction, I guess, or the control reaction is also good. やっぱり破壊神みたいなところとかね。<laughs> <laughs> giraffe is you know, one of the destroyers of the world, so yeah, there's a good comment from you, Giraffe. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to try like translate word to word for four people. That's going to be impossible. I think it's going to drone on for quite a long. So I'm trying to、uh, translate the abstract of it. The definite, I'm definitely translating the vital information. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they, oh, they're commenting like you know, let's let's blow things up kind of thing. I could try for a while, see how it goes. The next one is okay, but、well, this game's also good. This gives me goosebumps. Internet loves cats, man. I'm not going to talk much on this. Tasogare n e m u r u m a c h i The English version will be Tasomachi.、Uh, if it di- it's a、uh, direct translation, would be、uh, a city that sleeps in the twilight. Let's ex- let us explain what kind of game this is. The, the developer was a uh, 3D uh, the artist. And his name is No Crass. He changed it to freelancer now. So, this is Tatsugare Nemuru Machi. And if you're an indie game fan, you, should know, you would know this. One, uh, every time he puts、uh, this gameplay up on Twitter,、uh, it was going viral every time. Let's explain what kind of game it is. The protagonist is a protagonist、uh, called Yukumo. She's a girl. And she has to find the fuel for her、um, uh, plane. And it's all hidden in the town, so she has to go around looking for it. 
とても幸福な気分になりまして彼が描いているイラストが本当そのまま。イラストレーションのゲームなのがあって、そういうことです。ゼルダのブレス・オブ・ザ・ワイルド。There's a feel of Zelda Breath of Wild. Okay, sorry, man. But the thing is, I also had a hands on play, and looking at the videos, I predicted that this would be a walking simulator, and I think it is. There would, I think there will be puzzles,、uh, there will be like unlocks, and there will be like back、uh, laws. But I don't feel that it's like hardcore gameplay. So, you know, games these days are games that you can experience and games that you can actually play. I think this is kind of towards games you can experience, but also with a bit of play. Okay, and there's this person called Ujiko. Okay, so he or she,、uh, this person is doing the music. Ujiko is、uh, an electronic musician. Snail's House. Some of you may,、uh, may have heard of him. It's pretty good music, too. It's not EDM, EDM. It's more like. w h a t do you call that genre, though? It's not pop.、Uh, pretty good music, though. Snail's House and Ujiko. Check that out. Okay, I hope you look forward to it and enjoy it. <coughs> yeah, so you know, there are games who, like I play Apex, you know, which really frustrate you from time to time, time to time. But there are also like, games like these who you can just relax. And like going around doing nothing. Walking around, which is so good. Okay, so there's a comment from the two. Okay, here we go. Okay, my name is Nokras, the developer.、Uh, I'm making Tasomachi.、Uh, I started making Tasomachi for like, a collective way of for my, what I've done so far. It's the first big project as a game developer. Uh, but uh, but for, I'll try and do my best for not like a AAA company, but what an individual can do. And I would like to show you this world view, this scene of what I created. Future days. Okay, oh, Ujiko-san.、Uh, hi, my name is Ujiko. I did the BGM,、uh, making the original soundtrack.、Uh, I, played the, I played the game and having the DAW, the what do you call, desktop, or, what do you call that, the DAW, and then making it while I play it simultaneously. Well, that's cool. Oh, how do you feel about the game? It's very cute. There's a genre I, we say in Japan, it's like an atmospheric game. For example, there's like 3D games, like Bright Memory, but there's, there's also like this animated, really a lovely kind of a style game. He likes both. I do too. I'm a need to design games, I love them. I love the AAA FPS games too. <laughs> it's also saying that, you know, it's not like everything doesn't have to be really、um, chaotic and bloody and deadly. <laughs> Digital audio workstation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Tasomachi. Thank you. 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 This is from Ladybug. A record of Lotus War Deadly in Wonder Labyrinth. It's really hard. It's a really tough read, but this is good. I, I enjoyed this. Okay, Deadly is a character from、uh, Lotus War a series. It used to be, it, it is a, there's a genre called light novel in Japan. It's、uh, a novel, a light read. But it's,、uh, it has a long history. Okay, so this is one of the origins, or the originals, I guess. 
two years ago it was his 30th anniversary, the Lodos, the Lodos War. Some of you in chat probably know this. I haven't seen this properly, I haven't read it properly, but I know it, even I know it. Okay, uh, she's an elf, of course. Yes, diddly. Okay, you know the, the pointy ears of an elf? Yes, uh, I think Japan, this, uh, let's see, Record of Lodos was one of the f first, I think one of the originals in Japan. I think before that there was a few overseas, but in Japan this definitely spread it. This is a Tohho, this game called Toho Luna Night. Toho Luna Night. The developers there are making this. Same developers. Okay. Toho Luna Night is also receiving great reviews. It's also on early access. Great game too. And this one. It's also a very good uh, Metroidvania game. This is good. This is definitely good. That was the stage three. Yeah, there's only stage one and two now. So it's early access, very early access. Uh, but I don't, see, I didn't see any bugs when I played. Very good game. Stage three, stage four is going to come in November. Huge update plan for stage three and four. Castlevania games are so much fun. Okay, his, his comments on it. Giraffe. This is beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's beautiful. Deed lit is beautiful. Elves are beautiful. You all love elves. <laughs> Elves. Mm. <laughs> the, ga the game itself is also good. It's a very good action uh, Metroidvania game. So there's, uh, you have two powers, I think fire and wind, and you switch between them because enemies and uh, stages also have fire and wind elements to them. So you change between them to dodge and go through um, the stages. A JP indie game. There's one, two, three, four, five people in this room, other than me. I'm the only one dancing. <laughs> There's one tapping his feet. <laughs> translate the song, sorry mate. That is so hard, I can't translate the song. I'm so sorry. That is too hard. I need the lyrics right beside me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That I can't. I wasn't expecting that either. If I was trying, maybe I could have done a few. Sorry, I totally missed it. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's true. Next next I will. Next I will. If, if it comes up. Okay, next is the casebook of Arne. All right, let's see the game explanation. It's from Baka Game Magazine. Some of you might know. Uh, Angels of Death. I think it's, it was also an anime. So it started off as Dojin. Uh, and then Angel of Death also became an anime and a game. <coughs> uh, it started off as a free game. Hmm. Okay, so it's a, what you call it, uh, a detective game, a horror, detective horror game. Uh, it's going to be on Steam, and it's already, there's already an English and a Chinese simple, uh, simplified Chinese localization. It's already out, and this is going to be scheduled for release this fall. Hmm? But it says it's already out. 
、えー、主人公アルネは、まあ、吸血鬼で、うん、まあ何でしょうね。Okay. アルネ、is the protagonist is a vampire. で、まあ、<笑>ですけど、あの、there's gonna be all these mystery cases, m y s t e r i a s e s Oh, so it's a totally detective game.、Uh, so if you like detective. Stuff and elation, is it?、Yeah. Okay, so, the, so the, the game is different. So there is the,、uh, the case game, and then there is the actual elation or the game that you have to answer. So it's separate parts. The Japanese version is free, I think. So I played it a bit. It, it looked good, actually. It looked good.、Mm. Okay so, there's, okay, so there's two stories there. The first and second is coming out. Okay, so the first, the first one is trial of the case one. Okay. Okay, and there's another one from Baka Game Magazine. Oh, this one really. This one, man. I haven't played this. I have to play this one. It looks really good. I wonder if they're going to have the video here. Maybe not. You can only go to the left, I think. You can only go left. And, and it's already on Steam. でまあ、何本かセットで出すんですけど今回あのバカーゲームマガジンさんとあの開発の MC アンさんが、はいえー、とスチーム用にじゃあ書き下ろしを1個やろうということで新しいシナリオを今書きましたあっそうですねそれでまた新しいシナリオを書きましたあっそうですねそれでまた新しいシナリオを書きましたあっそうですねそれでまた新しいシナリオを書きましたあっそうですねそれでまた新しいシナリオを書きましたあっそうですねそれでまた新しいシナリオを書きましたあっそうですねそれでまた新しいシナリオを書きましたあっそうですねそれでまた新しいシナリオを書きましたあっそうですねそれでまた新しいシナリオを Oh, okay, so there's the version there is there's a version where you walk in the train, but next is the one with the what do you call this? Oh, damn, my English. The tracks. No, not the tracks. What do you call the one that the shutters come down? Not the shutters. The bars come down. What do you call them again? Ah! Just help. All right, hopefully, hopefully you look forward to this one too. Crossing gates. Thank you. This, uh, these kind of games? Yes, this is a very good game. So it seems that girls,、um, a certain age, adolescent girls, I guess, love these kind of games. Hmm. Wait, I like them. I like those kind of games. Am I an adolescent girl? <laughs> I guess we are, Jack. How is it, Jack? Kidding, son? Oh, the, the game really gives you direction, so it's really simple and easy, but it's very interesting. <laughs> He seems a bit tired. Oh, thank you. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. I don't know who Kurage P is right now. Someone was made by Kurage P. Oh, chat, thank you for the information, man. Please continue that. It's really good, really helpful. Yeah, Giraffe has a really deep voice, man. That's his style. Mad Father, this one's also amazing. Isn't that from the valley of, you know? Remake version coming out on 2024 autumn. 
I touched this a bit. This is one crazy game, man. It's, it's okay. Okay, game introduction. Okay, you probably know this. It's one of those legendary games. It's a, it's a 2D anime. Uh, sorry, 2D horror game. 2D anime, right? It's like Yumeniki and Ib. Uh, uh, was it Witch's House? And Aoni. You know Aoni? The blue it? The blue ghost? No, no, sorry. The blue troll? It's also Mad Fathers. It's one of the free game um, horror genres, legend. And this is going to be remade on Nintendo Switch. You finished? Man, I want to, I'm going to finish this game. I just touched it for this, but this is, that was great fun. It's, it's quite scary, although it's 2D. Okay, the, stu the Steam version is out now already. Hmm. But for Nintendo Switch, it's going to come out soon. And Steam, okay. Uh, Steam Switch release confirmed schedule for release in October 2020. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, so dad's doing those weird experiments. <laughs> Jikken is experiment and Jikkyo is uh, let's play lives. <laughs> so he's doing weird, so he heard weird, oh, the father's doing weird uh, let's plays at night. <laughs> Jikken, yes. Different Jikken experiment, Jikkyo uh, let's plays. Mm. Okay, so the father's doing some weird stuff, so she's going to have to uh, find out what the dad's doing, the mad father's doing. This is this is scary. The timing is well executed. This shows you that you know it's not only about the graphics, but um, that horror is not about how it looks only. It's also about how to build up to horror. <laughs> Which really I feel is important. Mm. <laughs> 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 He's talking about Gachiban being a father now. Mother, mad father, Gachi father. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, play with the, uh, what do you call it? the talkers. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the five games of all time. Really? I, man, I haven't played the freeze game, those free games, man. Okay, so the oh, in the new version, there's going to be some additional uh, story to it. Oh, okay. Okay, so the, if you go, so the second round you play it, there's going to be a thing called blood mode, and the scenario changes. So the people who already have played Mad Father can also play it again. Mm. Mm. So new stories about the ba uh, new backstories about the family too. It seems. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Giraffe says this is scary. Yeah. yeah, they are they are really good jump scares. Now I hate jump scares in movies, but if they're executed well, I really like it. It was really good. It was like unexpected jump scares. Mm. A little side note. <laughs> They've released a game called uh, One Was It One Way uh, Yusha. What's the word? Yeah. Okay, and they, they, they made it not using uh, the RPG Maker, but a thing called Wolf Editor. Wolf RPG Editor, called Uditor. Okay. Okay, so they made it so that it will be easy for the editor, the Wolf RPG editor made games to go onto Switch. Okay, so that's why remaking this game made it possible. No, no, we, uh, making Katamichi Usha one way. Yusha uh, for Switch made it possible for this game to be made on uh, to be ported to Switch. Ooh, that was Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so Mad Father trying to make uh, trying to uh, release it on 2020 Halloween October, and we are thinking about the update soon.
Well, same deck, I guess. And, and to be fair, Wolf Edgar is very similar to RPG. Mm. I've said. Ooh! Oh, uh, the, the tower changes every 24 hours. What a weird tower. Was that a head? Uh, the relics that you of your death will be passed on to others. Good. Climb to the top of over thousands and thousands of corpses. Mm, I like the music too, kind of a, a bit tune vibe into it. Steam 2020. Mm. <laughs> QR codes. Hurry, chat. QR codes. I made a comment art the Tokoyo, the Tower of Perpetuity. Mr. Saibashi, the creator. Okay. Oh, no, he's the, the what do you call it? The, the organizer of Comment Out. It was in a lot of indie games um, events. And many people are waiting for this, I presume. And Playzone is going to publish it. I'm going to try and publish it or release it within 2020. And today, the Steam store page is open. Wish list. Remember, guys, wish listing is very important. Okay, the title. Title of perpetuity. So you go. So you go up this tower. A roguelike, roguelite. Mm. So you can choose uh, characters. I think. Okay. Oh, so there's choices uh, of how to go up the tower. It seems. The tower changes every 24 hours. Oh. <laughs> she says that oh, the, 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 the game is like that, but she says, oh, but that's so hard for me. Uh, that tower is too hard for her. That came out really wrong. Oof. Okay, so trying it every day and then trying to climb to the top. So it's not like you know finishing the game once, but you, it is possible to finish the game every day. <laughs> okay, so there's, rank, there's rankings, okay? <laughs> so you can compete with other players too. <laughs> That's something, I like that, I like that. You know, roguelites are usually, you know, every game is different, but being able to complete a tower, that's also good. Isn't it? So once you die, the, once the character dies, there's a grave after you. So there'll be oh, so all around the world. Players, when the players die, it, it be, they become a grave. So you can see their graves. Okay. Ah, oh, you can leave a message on the on the grave too when you die. And it seems that you can also leave uh, the awesome item is left as a relic. So you can also use those. It seems. Mm -hmm. So try to you know climb up the tower, one tower every day, every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's main, there's main four characters, and they have these special powers, and you can customize them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, what kind of customization they're talking about? So, uh, character customization. 
in the video. A feature there but a man voice, which is often happens. Okay, I, I'm the developer. So it is possible to create your own avatar in game. Okay, skin customized mode. Okay, this is quite normal in foreign games, but in Japan, this is quite rare. Japan is not really up to date on mods, to be honest. So this is kind of kind of a nice thing, especially for the Japanese um, users or players. Man, VTubers are so big now in Japan. Ugh, they are huge in Japan. Huge! You, you, you can't believe them. Huge. I remember the Super Chat? I think there's like six VTubers in the top ten worldwide. Okay. So that was a character, I think an original character. So she, they put that into the game. So you can read in the data from in-game. You can also change cut-ins, those kind of pictures there. And you can change the, um, what the character says. It's very easy to put in your own character in the game. Mm. Okay, so now it's only local, but he's trying to make it so that you can upload it to a server, which means anybody you can play with any uh, character skin. Which is, yeah, which is good, which is good. If they can, if the game can collaborate or if some VTubers or some characters like, you know, like this, make their own, that's also fun. Yeah, time to spend 10 hours in character customization. I know! If you have any collaborations, uh, please uh, contact me. That's what he's saying. Mm. I don't know why, but this gives me this gives me a feel of oh, this is a game kind of feel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> official James character skin. I'll try. This is gotcha, the gotcha mm. Ah, yeah, so VTuber fans might make or create uh, skins for the VTuber that he likes or she likes and then upload it. Yeah. And these artists, um, the fans are amazing. It's already on my wish list. That happens a lot, doesn't it? It happens a lot, man. I go to, oh, this game looks fun. Let's see. Uh, oh, I already have it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so for streaming and you know, content creating, putting your own or the char uh, character that you like in the game is fun. Hmm. Yeah, the movement in Japan is a bit slow in the, those, that sense. So it's really... A lot of companies don't like it. Like uh, certain, like the K company doesn't want ja Japan, Japanese company. The K doesn't want people to uh, stream their games. Uh, this is still a big debate here, which is understandable. Ooh. I recommend this voice. Yazawa Samurai. Yeah. Hear the horns, boys? Where's the guns? Ah, and twenty thousand. 
Only for this noise. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right. Oh, damn, fuck the text again. Right. Okay, uh, so this is an imaginary 90s hip hop music and it's on an artificial island called New Koza, Okinawa. And the genre is Tropical Thug Life Simulator. Thug Life Man. Okay, PlayStation 4, Switch, Xbox One release October 1st. See, Xbox? October 1st. This game is hella fun. Hella fun. Ha it's still in the middle of playing it. It's really good. So you. Huh? Okay, reservations already started. Mm. This is a JRPG style game, but there's also hack and slash style looters. Okay, so yeah, so the the loot. There's random um, there's random numbers to it, and so they have different kind of games. Like, you know, like Borderlands kind of say. So depending on how you um, combine those guns and armor and stuff, you get amazing, uh, sorry, amazing damages. The story is good. It's something might be cheesy, but I love it. If you get into it. So at first he couldn't defeat the first boss, but then by combining different uh, weapons he could easily beat it. So that's quite the, quite an important part there. Yeah, so the story is about uh, a girl fighting the mafia, the mob, the gangsters. That's really cool, man. So it's like a, um, a post-apocalyptic, uh, cyberpunkish. You see, you see the there, man. See the graphics there. Cyberpunkish Okinawa. So it's really, really cool. So he used to be a convenience store um, staff, but he's he's working part time at the convenience store. He made him stop working at the convenience store. And he paid for his living ex living expenses for about a year or two. Whoa. <laughs> he so you said it sounded it seems that he was he just fell in love with the, the dots that he was producing. So that's why he Wow, that's cool. That is something kind of unheard of in Japan. It's something like Valve would do or something. Whoa. Kidding, you play this? Uh, he played it. He also like hack and slash and loot stuff. Same here. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really like. A, a cluster F, the, the map, map, which is a good thing. <laughs> Usually you really, really hate you know, getting lost and stuff, but it looks so good that going around the place is so much fun. <laughs> it feels like someone, the people are living there. Mm. Mm, like the, so it's like a mixture of the Oriental, the Asian side, and the American thug lifestyle together. Mm. Something new. Mm. It says the pipeline, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> Can you tell that? yeah, no. That's someone else's she can feel the like the heat from it. How do they find those dots, man? Really? Just looking at the the promotion video is really good. It might be his arm. Oh, that's him, the developer. He's a total beaver. Look at all those jinglings. Oh, 
、えー、細かいところは、まあ、あの映像の方と、まあ、解説の方にお任せする。Uh, Introduce、ね、and explain on the video shown. No, because of COVID, you know, I feel a lot of people are playing games indoors now. But Orange Blood is、uh, the location, the graphics, the scenery is really good, really beautiful. So, while staying at home, playing Orange Blood, you can have the feel of going on a trip. Please play my game. Oh, introducing, his, introducing his game properly. I mean,、uh, business like. That's good. Quite rare. Very nice. <laughs> the wind was strong, but <laughs> the accessory was amazing.、Uh, turn based. <laughs> <laughs> you should see his、uh, interview picture, man. His total rapper is like going like this. Yeah, it's the first type of、uh, indie crane creator he met, <laughs> developer he met. Mm, a very nice person. It's like a, a romancing saga style. So there's enemies there walking around, and you hit them, you fight them.、Mm. So, yeah, so the developer putting the stuff that he just absolutely loves.、Mm. Alright, next game! Uh, Okay, she bought a. Okay, these are all going to be in the explanation, so I'm going to try and translate the song. There's something blooming. Oh, the of light, the stone of a life? Or is that will? Something's been cultivated. There's a cold、uh, particle produced somewhere.、S、something opened the wish. Dude, translating a song is so weird. <laughs> something really makes it, gives you goosebumps. Or、oh, it's deep in the thrill. In the mist. Something is looking towards you. Something makes you excited. This adventure makes you excited. You don't know what the end is going to be like. But you have to go on forward and forward. You fall into the darkness. You, fi you find meeting eye with the light. I couldn't get the last part. <laughs> okay, now the explanation of the game. So, this is a dungeon agricultural roguelike game. So, the protagonist buys a second hand dungeon and then she finds a dead body in her second hand dungeon and she has to solve why. Did you get that? Did you get that? <laughs> she buys a second hand dungeon, there's a dead body in there, and she has to solve that mystery. <laughs> yeah, roguelite, RPG. Yeah. Plus an adventure game style.、Mm -hmm. So you go into a dungeon, and then the story progresses. So, you can cultivate, you can、um, farm your dungeons. So, it seems like you, so I, when you played it, so you play through a dungeon, you collect stuff, and then you can upgrade your dungeons and、um, agriculturize it. Is that a word? Yeah, you can level up your dungeons, that's what he's saying. I love the looks of this m o n e y They made,、uh, what's it?、Uh, Forget Me Not Organ, I think, and Mayonaka Garang. I, I really recommend those two. They look good.、Mm. He's talking about how, to, yeah, how you continue farming,、um, cultivating it, and leveling, it, leveling the dungeon.、Yeah. 
Is cultivate the right word? Uh, Forget me not organ. Okay, I was right with the, the title. Okay. Yes. Mm. But make it better, upgrade it. Mm. It's very, it, the looks are simple. It's not like really action packed or anything. But I don't know. It just has, has this vibe of you want to continue. It's like a weird, the graphics are like you're going through a weird dungeon. Yes, yeah, so they're talking about uh, Forget Me Not Organ. <laughs> Forget Me Not Organ Farm. Thank you, thank you. There you go. I didn't know the uh, English version for it. Yeah, so you, um, you farm. The Forget Me Not Organ Farm is you uh, create organs. Yeah, that's a, that, was a, that was a weird game. Wasn't it? Mm. So that's uh, they made that. Yeah, so it's more like you level up, to be, put it blatantly. Yeah. By collecting all these stuff. During the dungeon. Mm. Mm. Four a.m. Oh man. About another hour. Mm. So this is yeah. About another hour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the Steam store is open now. The sealed um, ampo. That's French, isn't it? I checked it. It's. It's something in a syringe, I think. Okay, the dress gonna talk. He likes roguelike games, yes. Collecting items and going through the dungeon is good fun. You played it a bit? He's gonna buy a dungeon soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. This is a strange, interesting game, she says. Okay, that's Ample. Next! Oh, sorry, the Ample is. The story is 10 years before Forget Me Not Organ. I had to put that in. Okay, next is called Sound Art, a VR game. It's going to be updated soon. This looks beautiful, man. This looks beautiful. Beat Saber definitely, I don't know if I can say the name, but that really defined VR rhythm games, I think. And now trying to put in something new is very really important. Now. So it seems that the drums are from these leaves, what do you call them, not pellets, uh, from one to eight. So you can hit the drums. And you can put in any music you like. <laughs> yeah, clone games, the important part for clone games is trying to uh, put in your own stuff. That's very, very important. So that the jan will um, spread. So, new looks. I like the looks. <laughs> There's also tentacles. You can also hit the boxes with tentacles. <laughs> oh, and it's also, uh, uh, it's what do you call it? Chat link. So, depending on what you comment, uh, you, you, uh, new objects spawn in the game. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can also, uh, avatar's also VRM, so you, uh, you can modify your avatar too. 1.4.0 All sorts of sticks Okay, so the stages change Yeah, the art changes, of course Oh, that looks nice The cutesy style and there's a new stick. Wait, what? Wait, what the f <laughs> Okay, so it's like the stand from, I guess, Jojo. <laughs> so there's a huge thing, huge ad behind you, and you, you control that. It seems that it's really hard to use that, though. It's really tiring. 
ていう大型プレゼンを控えておりまして、近日。そうですね。あ近々アップデートというのがあります、ね。VR、ね、Quality of Life Update is something hard. I don't know. I think with some, it's a kind of a trend, so hopefully things will start changing. Okay, he, he played that. <laughs> he said that was、um, like、one of the most tiring things this year for me, for the giraffe. <laughs> the giraffe played it. <laughs> This looks cool. <laughs> what did he play? What music did he play with? Pre installed ones and. うまうま。うう,うまう。かなり歌っていいのかなこれ I don't know if, is this going to be in the flag by the algorithm? Maybe I shouldn't sing it. <laughs> okay, so it's really, it's really tiring. Man, these VR rhythm games are really going to tire you out. Hanata Seifu, okay, thank you. If I hum it, it's okay. It ね、ちょっとここまでいろいろご紹介しまして、次にご紹介するのは、ガイスタンドです。ネクスト。おお、コラボレーション。まずはこちら、カラッパゲーム制作、カニの喧嘩。First, okay, two games gonna collaborate. The first one is カニの喧嘩。Fight Crab! Is that English or Japanese? I can't hear, sorry. What? Is it Japanese or English? That's English. Dang it, I have my brain in Japanese. Oh, that's Japanese.、Uh, crabs are delicious. Yeah, if you eat them together, they're really nice. It's really hard to take off the,、uh, the shells, and it's tedious to take off the shell. But if you take them off,、uh, nicely, it's really good. Crab. Crabs are really nice! That's what they said. I have five people right in front of me. <laughs> Say nothing. Ah, <laughs>、oh, I love you to crabs, man. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> All right. That's cra fight crab. <laughs> Next from GBA Games. <laughs> This one also, man. <laughs> Sorry, my nose. Excuse me. Oh, cute sheep. <laughs> And of course, a koala. Oh, this is what happens when you try to drive a car. You get. Oh, a cop. Police car. No, it's not. It's a pole. Police car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Okay, explanation. Let's go. 
ちょっとね非常にあのシュールな光景広がってましたが、It's a very interesting view there. What ha- what's going to happen if they have a collaboration? 本日はですね実際にこの奇跡のコラボをガッチマンさんとキリンさんにここで。They're going to actually play the collaborated game. Okay. お二人自身もねまた今日奇跡のコラボ的なね。<laughs> They're on like other games, aren't they? The Kahai guys. Any game with graphic mechanic is good. I played the Deer Simulator. It's good fun. Oh, but I actually played both games. They're actually good fun. There was a kind of a progression in Deer Simulator. Mm. Well, you know, the goat was fun too because it was crazy, wacky, and there was progression.、Uh, the execution of gameplay is quite important in those games now. Crab versus deer, yeah. What's going to happen? Yeah. So, wait, what? A crab? So, okay, so it seems that the deer simulator guys, guy sent the deer data to the crab guy and it's going to be in game. How? <laughs> wait, is it? Where is it? Okay, that's a. <laughs> Wait, so the antlers and the head is. <laughs> it's like, it's like the, the deer is like mid surgery or something. This is really scary. Okay, so this game,、uh, you, it's、uh, recommended with a controller. And you have, of course,、uh, crab arms, and you can hold stuff, or you can hold them. So you have to try and flip them over. If you flip them over for three, thec- three seconds, you win. <laughs> so you move your arm with the sticks, and you, hold, you try and hit them,、uh, get more damage up. <laughs> and this is hyper mode. <laughs> In flames underwater. <laughs> you have like super moves? <laughs> It's okay, so one of them is much better than the other. He <laughs> has 164 damage compared to 81. Who doubled the damage, man? Oh, man. <sighs> Why does he have a gun? Because he's a crab. Oh, no, because it's a deer? <laughs> <laughs> you have rockets, guns, swords. <laughs> Man, the crab is really good at this game. <laughs> a crab、well, won against a deer. Amazing. That is totally a kaiju fight, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a video game. It's actually a, fight, a proper fighting game, Fight Crab. You know, I, man, Fight Crab, that title, man. He, I, I wonder if he wanted to make the game first or the name came first. Okay, Fight Crab. Okay, you fight against. Yeah. It's a state of the art、uh, fighting game. And game simulator Slow Life、uh, Town Destroying Game. And this year, Plays them,、um, uh, put it out, released on Steam. And it went viral all around the world. Okay, so, and these are both Japanese developers. So, <laughs> so what ha- he thought, what happens if they collaborate? So he asked them, wh- how, how would you like to collaborate with each other? And so they said yes, and the deer, the deer sent the deer model, 3D model to Fight Crab, and 10 minutes later, that came out. <laughs> That. <laughs> Amazing. He never, he never thought it would be like that. <laughs> Must have very weird. <laughs> Club. They have the exact same katakana. Oh my word. No, she thought that the, <laughs> she thought that the crab would win. No, the deer would win, but the crab won. 
ちなみにあれってカニだけなんですかあの Is that only crabs in the game? ロブスターとか、ね。There's also lobsters. What's shako in English? Shako が強すぎて、あの下方修正されてる。Ah, what was shako? It's like a weird, weird scorpion-like crab. The guy loves crabs. He's been making shrimp games. So he he used to make he he made a game called Ace of Seafoods. No, it was Ace of Seafoods, Neo Aquarium, and I think Fight Crab. So it's all been like about fish,、uh, underwater. You should try see of Ace of Seafoods too. Yeah, there's also lobsters in there. Mantis shrimp. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. It's called shako in Japanese. But、indie games can just do what they like, you, no matter how stupid it looks or crazy it looks. Okay, so October, there's going to be a big update. About, so, the, probably the next update. Okay. <laughs> it's, a very, it's, a, it's a really good crazy game, man. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the guy who won, Kidding the Giraffe, man, he was really good. He was actually really good. <laughs> okay, that was the domestic Japanese indie games. Now the foreign overseas ones. Okay, man, Japan makes some weird stuff.、Eh? I love it. Oh, I've never played this one. Can you translate some for this? Supercharge. Oh.、Huh. Okay. So there's also all, all, the, all sorts of items, I guess. Huh. There's a map, treasure map, but it's cursed. Hmm. I wonder. Action, adventure? I like the music. Wait, was that a, a game club? Whoa. Aww.、Oh, that's cute. That's what's that. And there's all sorts of mini games inside, I guess. I don't know who this thing is. Actually, making this comment. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie yet. No,、oh, Knights and Bikes. Okay, Knights and Bikes. Form Sword made this. It's a great team. Oh, they made Little Big. Little. Whoa, Ratchet and Clunk, Little Big Planet. Oh my word. That's a lot. So, those people、uh, made their own. Uh, there you go. Own developing company. So they're going to do the Asian、uh, release. So the Japanese version, Chinese version coming out. Okay.、Uh, it looks beautiful. I like the style. The, like,、um, what do you call it? Like a paper style, I guess. The girl is way high.、Yes. Yeah, big names, big names. That, that's kind of a thing.、Yeah. People who worked at big companies want to make their own stuff. And they do come out with good quality games.、Mm, it's for PS4, Switch, and PC English for anyone wondering. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, so it's it's based on an island near England, and there's lo a lot of people leaving the leaving the island, craggy island, I guess. Okay, so they're on bikes. The two protagonists, they just run around in the in the in the natural grounds fields. You can play alone, or you can play with a friend if you have a, if you have a friend. You can jump into puddles, or you can play games in a game. Yeah. So small mini games in there too. You can play inside the game like you've gone back to uh, your your childhood. Oh, okay. So you have to find the treasure scattered around in on the island. Oh. Artwork, music is really good, really beautiful. Mm. And this is going to be in Japanese and English. Mm. Mm. We thought that it's a shame that it wasn't in in, the, in other languages, so he is going to localize it. Mm. Yeah. Play some localization is pretty good, very good actually. Yeah. で、スチームPS4、任天堂スイッチで発売予定しています。今、ローカライズ中、翻訳中、別のでまたあの、ご期待いただければと思います。はい。これはコメント欄でお友達もついてくるんですか?友達がついてくるんですよ。結構AIが
It's like very, it's futuristic, but it's like destruction, like death is right there. It's all dirty and crazy and weird. Stuff. Okay, so through taking pictures, so you are devil, you are a devil delivery man in this world, and you take pictures and deliver that, and they, it's called photo bounty. Okay. So there's, so there's like you, you have to take pictures of a friend uh, within a certain time, uh, uh, take pictures of five birds, and when it's five birds, you have to put it five birds in one picture. So through that, you unlock stories and uh, understand how the world is. Okay, so it's okay. So it seems when he read uh, the developer's note, the developers are going to come out with Japanese with Google Translate. But he he thought that that is really bad. Yeah, Google Translate did games I played a lot. They're really bad. Really fun though. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he thought that oh, that's not good. And we will localize it. Mm. Yes, Umurangi Generation. Again, it's a game that you take pictures, but it's really good one. The feeling is really good. Psychedelic, yeah. Environmental storytelling, no dialogue, but you understand the world through the graffiti and newspapers and such. That's, that's very good explanation. Hmm. Yeah, it's really easy to take pictures and they're really stylish. You feel that you're kind of cool, groovy, party mm. <laughs> It's not like game game. It's, I don't know. It's like an experience. But there's also a game system in there. Oh, really? Then you probably like this too. Yeah. yeah, so it's like a quest like. Yeah, so of stuff that you have to take pictures. Oh, yeah. So the, yeah, so there's like um, take, seven, uh, take a picture of seven birds. But you have to find a place that you can actually put seven birds in one picture. So it's like you have to go around uh, the map. It's not a big map, but you have to go around the map and check out where you can shoot your picture from. It's like a slight puzzle game in there. So they're making a new DLC there. Hmm. And they're developing a Switch version. Okay. Hmm. What was that? Uh, oh, selfie. So they will put it in selfie lens. Hmm. Okay, so the next one, Gamer Palace and the UN storage area is going to be in the next stage. Mm, and the Switch version also coming out soon. The Gamer Palace, that's going to be all flashy, right? The UN storage place, that's going to be another storytelling stage. Next game! For years I dreamed of being an idol, and now my dream has come true. Sure, the pay is bad, and I don't have this is a foreign game with our busy practice schedule, but it's all for the fans. The manager thinks he's doing the new girl a favor by having her replace me as a center. <laughs> they both have another thing coming. We've spent so long practicing for this concert, but the venue seems kind of sketchy. That lighting rig looks like it could collapse at any time. Ever since we hit the top of the charts, we've been getting way more exposure. We even got invited to appear on a talent show with other idol groups. Huh? One of the judges is the leader of a rival group? Well, that doesn't seem fair. Recently, I've been spending a lot of time with our manager. And he's always there to vouch for me. I think we're even starting to become close. Is it okay for us to start going out like this? Ever since I put that kid in charge of managing an idol group, it's been one negative headline after another. But the group seems to be turning a profit, despite constant bad press. The Japanese is English. The, right decision in backing someone that inexperienced? the Japanese titles are what he's saying. I always dreamed of being part of the greatest idol group in Japan. Oh. Wow. Yeah, the guy, what the guy was saying, the Japanese ti ti subtitles were what the guy was saying in English. Yeah, so I didn't translate that. Okay, so you become an idol manager. 
経営シミュレーション的な育成シミュレーション的な,、okay. so like、なります今回あの日本語版の PV をあの初めて公開いたしました、うん、で、えーまあ、どんな手を使ってでもトップアイドルになるっていうのがあの目標でしてどんな手を使ってでも,でも、えー、あのライバルを蹴落としてもよし Okay, so you have to try and become the top idol group manager doing whatever you can. So it's also, they also show the dark side of it. <laughs> okay, so you teach idols how to sing? You, you have to borrow money from the banks? And the, oh, yeah, and it shows both the dark side and the bright, you know, the lovely side. So there's an audition first? Okay, you're going to push one girl? The first thing you have to choose is you have to decide on how the length of the skirt. That's the first thing you choose in this game. You want it long or short? When it's shorter,、uh, you get huge fans, but they might be, it might be scandalous. You have a longer skirt,、uh, you become one of those、uh, gentle lady like idols. First he, was, first, he tried to do it properly. He made it properly and he tried training them properly,、uh, promoting them properly, but he could, he could only sell 100、uh, CDs. So he had to create a scandal. <laughs> So, yeah, our scandal is like you have to get the paparazzi to like, oh, shoot,、uh, shoot pictures of you. This is made in Russia. <laughs> There's a lot of games now which、um, people make in Japanese, like, but it's not made in Japan. <laughs> This is Russian. <laughs> okay, so there's a list of names of the idols, and the, the names are actual idols in Japan. Man, these people, they know, they say there's some idols, idol names that even he didn't know. Is this not R rated? How, how, de- how, how, how difficult? He said the Playism is going to publish the one which is、um, family friendly. Does that mean that there is an R rated or higher rated one? But someone from Russia, this is quite a song.、Hmm? Yeah, the developer name is Glitch Pitch.、Mm. <laughs> so, this is a simulator game, so you you know, click on stuff and then train stuff with numbers up and stuff. Okay, so this is on、uh, stream, Steam store page out now.、Uh, add to your wish list. Remember, adding to a wish list is free and it helps out a lot. How, how about Giraffe? What do you think?、Uh, <laughs> this is a genre that I like. <laughs> I think it's Japanese. <laughs> We never know. Oh, replica! This is actual gameplay footage, by the way, by Somi. Anyone played this? I've touched it. It's, it's quite interesting. Haiki. <laughs> oh, this.、Uh, By, doing, by helping us, you will show that you are good for the, the nation. You have to find out what the person behind,、uh, next to you is doing. 
So you have to look through his phone. That's what he said. Uh, camera roll, login. It says login there. You have to find a way to log in. Wrong login. Is that Twitter? What's this? Neo, he's, he's googling or snoozling neo-fascism. Uh, by looking into another person's phone will uh, make you the patriot that you should be. If you don't take the phone now, you'll become the same like Dicky. Please pick up the phone. Do you think we are playing a game? Everything is in the nation. Everything is for the nation. There's nothing else other than the nation. And there's no one against the nation. Heavy stuff, dude. Yes, Somi, Korean creator. Okay, Mr. Sam, he's going to explain it. It was out on Steam and Switch before. Yeah. It was quite a big hit. You look through other person's smartphone, and then you have to um, solve, solve by looking through the clues. Everything's a clue. It's one of those everything's a clue. Uh, in the picture, in the phone. So probably the, the yeah. So the country, someone, the nation is ordering you to find out that this person is a terrorist. Hmm. Okay, so it's through one picture. Now I played a bit. This is amazing. The thing is that it's a small screen, right? It's, it's one. Sorry, it's one screen. But the thing is, um, the story that goes through it, it really pulls you in. It's quite immersion. Immersing. Okay, so they're going to try and release it uh, by 2024. Uh, it's Somi from Korea. It's, uh, it's a single developer. He's been liking, he likes, well, he's been checking out Somi for quite a while. He was, oh, he, he chose Somi as an award in one of the events. And he's been making, Somi has been making amazing games a lot. <laughs> it's all weird games, but it's really good. Hmm. Dystopian world building. Hmm. This will be coming out in full on Switch. It's already on Steam, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, if you've already played it, try, try it out on Steam again. This is, this, this is really... Mm, since man, that, that was like indie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is like uh, <laughs> it is peeping through so someone. It, mm, it is a crime, but the country, the nation is ordering you to do it. So we have to do it. Mm. Exploration of the device. Ah, yeah, yeah, you could say that, you could say that, yeah. mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so we have to look through the others, the, person, the phone owner's pictures. And it is really kind of um, awkward to look through that. Yep, so at the bottom it says play, uh, plays and confirmed as publisher, Switch version scheduled for fall 2020 release. Next is Legal Dungeon by Somi 2. Okay. Okay, this is gameplay. This is a new game, new Legal Dungeon. So it's a, uh, a called Guilt Trilogy, the new one's coming out, and this is the second one. So you become a police officer, and you have to make this uh, opinion paper that you send out to the... Uh, uh, to the the prosecutor. Mm. Okay. So from the help of an AI in-game, you drag the information that you find. You have to read through it and then drag information so that it matches. So it's like a puzzle game. Mm. 
ことが侮辱罪に当たるかっていうことに関する事件の調書を今取って。そうだ、なお、legal dungeon、そう、they go into a dungeon。そうで、in the bottom right、they in a dungeon で。そう、で、the subject says、I'm, I'm, I'm innocent。the police officer says、everyone says that。そう、they have to find。Sentences of conflict or information that is useful for the police or the prosecutor.、Mm. So there's all different colors which represent different things. Usually the blue is all legal stuff. Okay, so they called someone a, I think the translation was bacon shite. That was a light way of saying it.、Uh, during a prosecution. So they use that as an attack. And then the second round. Is that, is that slander actually saying bacon shite? And then he has to look for case studies or case laws, pre precedents that、uh, support that it is slander. Mm. Yeah, this game is already available on Steam in English for seven years, so let's please check it out. The translation, English translation was good. I played a bit, the first part. It was properly done. This was actually much more fun than I expected. Looking through understanding and then finding the matching、um, words.、Mm. Yeah, so you have, yeah, looking through case studies, case laws,、uh, precedents. And you have to see which matches.、Mm. And you are a police officer. And the law is different in Korea. So it's not a,、uh, not a judge.、Huh? Okay, so, so in Japan, if you sue someone, if the prosecutor sues someone, usually they are guilty, which is kind of political there, so I'll leave that. But it, so sometimes, so going through this opinion paper, You, the people surrounding you and yourself, the destiny or the story changes. If that person is sued or found guilty or found innocent, that all changes everything.、Mm. You know, this paper, yeah, exactly. I was going to say PP, but.、Mm. Well, if you if you to, if you find many guilty,、mm -hmm. your rank goes up.、Ah. Your rank goes up.、Uh -huh. okay. And you get a lot many pay, much pay. Ah, so you can sue someone or send an opinion that this person is guilty, even though there might be flaws in your、um, in your opinion.、Oh. Mm. The way and the tutorial is really good. It really runs through what you have to do. And I'm, I'm really bad with concentrating on long text, but I could play it.、So. <coughs> oh, the, tr the translation was done by Unholy Heights and Gnosia's、uh, developer. They did the localization, and the Japanese localization was pretty good. <coughs> Very good, actually. Do you know Unholy Heights、uh, and Gnosia? I hope they do that in English. Unholy Heights is in English. <coughs> and there's a comment from them. Legal Dungeon is a, a game that you make papers. You are a leader of a police investigation team. You have to decide or you have to make an opinion of either sue or not. On a paper, there is no character or emotion. But making these opinions、oh, yeah. will change the destiny of the person or people around you and yourself. The developer Somi is actually in the legal industry. So you can feel the power between the words, the actual words. But not only the power of strength、uh, from the game, but you also feel the wish, the hope from Somi.、Uh, by hearing the wish or the pray from Somi, we wanted to、uh, translate this game. We did, they didn't ask us, we just wanted to do it because we thought we had to.、Uh, Legal Dungeons translation was really good fun and was great. But it was before Gnosia's release, so we didn't tell our leader. Gnosia, <laughs> 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 
ですね。あのーうん、それ五年ぐらい多分彼らは作っていて引きこもって、はい、引きこもってというじゃないですか。いや、they've been making g n o s e for like five six years。完成して二年ぶりぐらいにこの開発の方とお会いした。あのアンホーリーハウスはでそれ。であのやっとできましたとか言うのかなと思ったらリーガルダンジョンというゲームが面白い。When they first met him, he thought that they were talk about the game that they released on Holy Heights, but no, they first said that. Do you know the game Legal Dungeon? <laughs> グノシアはって思ったの。そうですね。あのでグノシア、で、ね、は時々、それ、それ、タイムラインを見てください。で、まあ、面白くて、で、あの、ご縁があって、これのパブリッシングをすることになって、あの、この。Okay, so you thought it was really fun? グノシアの絵を借りて Ah, Kotori, uh, Kotori san, the graphics designer for Gnosia, Puchi Depot,、uh, wrote, drew this. Okay, so that's a little, a little picture there.、Mm-hmm. Good night, man. Thanks, chat. Thank you. Have a good time. Have a good time. And thanks, thanks for joining.、Yeah. Okay, so they're wanting to make, come out with the、uh, Japanese version. No, Switch version 2021. キリンさんも、ジラフもプレイしました。何かこうなんか人間の何かが試されている感じがねするので、人によって多分見えてくる景色が違うんじゃないかと思います。Yeah, depending on who you know, depending on the player, what you see might be different. さあお次はですね、プレイするだけでなく自分でもゲームが作れるゲームエンジン、アクションゲームスクール MV のご紹介です。Next is an engine introduction. It's not only you can play games, but make games. アクションゲーム。Wait, wait, what's the name of that? There's an English name for this. Pixel Game Maker MV. That's the name. Pixel, there's English. Pixel Game Maker MV. It is now, now you can export your game into the Switch version. では okay, so we're going to try this. Okay, so here's the game creation、uh, part Pixel Game Maker MV. Yeah, that's the.、Uh, okay, that's a. Ooh, okay. It's called Bike Dash Excite. <laughs> We've all been there, haven't we? Excite. Bike. <clears throat> Okay, it's going to show the gameplay first. Bike Dash Excite! Press key! Okay, there you go, that's the game there.、Mm. And it's stuck. そうそう。Okay, there we go. That's a tube there. Ah, and these Gatchmans,、uh, the glasses guys. That's pretty easy. Oh, okay.、Hmm. Any game devs here? <laughs> It looks like a death picture or something. <laughs>
移植できるみたいな。あそうですそうですあの作ったゲームはすぐにスイッチに反映されるというような形で<笑>、えー、それはすごいですねパソコンだと作りやすいですからねやっぱああいうですねマウスとキーボードで Can you come up with the picture again? Yeah, because、um, porting something is、uh, usually games I think games are made on PCs and then they try to optimize it、uh, for other, cons- other、uh, platforms Usually.、Yeah. So, but some, it's, for some platforms, it's really hard to export. And if that's really easy, it's really good.、Mm. Oh, and you can also have your friends play. So, it's like YouTube.、Yeah. People will start to play your games. Like people started watching your videos. So, presumably, this is really easy compared to you know, other kits. Much easier, very basic. But I imagine porting is also another. Not an issue, but I guess what people would like to do easily. マリオ、だって、MM、だって、MM ゲーム、だって、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それそうです。で、今私この最初に。で、ドラフト動かしておりますが。ゲストはナイスムービングスイッチ。はい。スイッチに入りました。オッケー、で、ポートドエクスポートドワン。ナウダウンロード。オー、デイゴ、イツアップオンザセー
ポーチ、オリジナルゲームとスイッチ。リリースとシェアゲーム。一部の機能、えっと、ま、軽量化とかが入ってます。うん。あの、ツールの軽量化自体が進んでますので、もしよかったらそれであのスイッチ販売したい
作っておりまして、えー、と非常にこれはあの今までほとんど一人とか二人で作ってたけど、しっかりしたしっかりしたというのは、ね、最初で作ってたわけです。そういう人たちが作ってたわけです。でとこのゲームの日本語版のパッケージを我々は、ね、OK、そう、ジャパニーズパッケージバージョンが来るのは、from Playzone。えっと、ギアボックスってもともとあのボーダーランズ。いや、ギアボックスは、developer of ボーダーランズ。そうなんですけど、作っていて、うん、えっ、ー、と、まあ、それに近しいんですが、えっ、ー、と、ルーターシューターというジャンルになります。そう、で、いや、ボーダーランズはルーターシューター。で、あの、サードパーソンの。まあまあ言えばモンハンとか赤狼みたいな感じとまあに近いんですけどこのゲームはあの、so、超攻撃型にあの、so、バランス調整。ゴッドフォールはこれはルーター・スラッシュで、ス、um, キルを使いまして、コンセントレーティングのアタックスも。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、Give it to them. Yeah. Oh, so you can. Oh, there you go. Brain dead gameplay. I love that. He did the PS5 version. Looks beautiful and it's amazing. Oh, yeah, the new. The, yeah, so there's a new PlayStation 5 controller, Dual Sense. So you can, you can actually feel how the feedback of the controller, the vibration is really good. 手に伝わるので、こうブンブンしてるだけで、やっぱり。So when you attack something and it hits, you can actually feel how it hits the enemy. グワーって振ってる感じがなんか伝わるので、すごい。キリンさん向けのゲーム。キリンさん向けのゲームですか？はい。ありがとうございます。私もあのビジュアル前見てからもう楽しみに待ってます。He's been waiting for this game. Looking forward to it. He's going to buy it at launch. So he, he will have a PS5. I need a PS5. I haven't bought one yet. So they're really trying hard, really、um, hurrying to come out with the game. Okay. There's a message, message from Steve Gibson. From the publisher, I think. サブノーティカだけでなく、ゴッドフォールでもプレイズムと協力できて光栄です。OK、I have English here. <coughs> Hi everyone, this is Kirin51,、uh, game director of Skeban Games. No, this is wrong. I just. OK, where is it? <sighs> Hi, guys.、Uh, we are、uh, happy to work with Sub,、uh, Playzum, not only Subnautica. Sub, Playzum is really professional. They are knowledgeable, they're very experienced. We think they're a great partner.、Uh, we want the gamers in Japan to play Godfall, and hopefully, that they'll enjoy it. Thank you very much, and we hope to look for. We look forward to everyone playing it. This is from Steve Gibson, Gearbox Publishing owner. Ah, 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 He was in, he's interested in Legal Dungeon. Oh, he's, he likes it. He likes those kind of games. Godfall, yeah. The Pixel Game Maker, that's also fun.、Oh. Uh, he's looking forward to those. まあ、口なしアンプルとね、リーガルダンジョンをね、気に入りになる。はい。私は何でしたっけ Both are cute. 
ツオンドマオは、はい、そうですねあのシミュレーションみたいな。It's a simulation kind of game. It's a, it's an intro, it's a funny game. こうガンこう家賃下げたりしちゃったんですけど。<笑>はい。家賃下げてましたね。<笑>家賃下げてまあ勇者と戦うみたいなやつですよ。We do you don't you don't understand gaming. <笑> Joking. まあでもちょこちょこあの。Twitch is on my preference is gaming. There's so much gaming. <笑>見に行ったりもしてるんですけど。<笑>はい。え住人の皆さんはどうなってたんですかそれ。あ、で、talking about unholy heights。あ、そうなりますよね。で、unholy h e i g h t s i s a g a m e w h e r s m a o a n d t h e n y o u h a v e t h i s a p a r t m e n t a n d p e o p l e c o m e i n a n d s t a y t h e r e a n d t h e y h a v e a k i n d o f a s l o w l i f e t h e r e a n d s o m e t i m e s t h e g o o d g u y s c o m e i n a n d f i g h t y o u a n d t h e r e s i d e n t s h a v e t o f i g h t t h e m And Valhalla, Valhalla is very, he, he likes those kind of games. And the translation is really good.、Oh. Okay, God Fall is the last one. But there are people who are talking about in chat about other games. We know, we know what you're talking about, but we're also waiting for those games. There's not much that we can announce now, but there is one picture. But there's one picture that we can show. ニルバーナというタイトル、はい、バルハラの続編ですねの、えー、キーアートが、はいえー、届きました。キーキーアートを彼らは作って、おり完成したよということで、えー、いただきました。There's a key art from Nirvana。おりますので、はいはい、情報としてはこれぐらいしかないんですけども。<笑>いや、でも、はい、大丈夫ですよ、あのーね。本当にスケバンゲームスは、はいまあ、真摯にゲームを作ってくれていると思いますので。うんはいね、そんなあのスケバンゲームスの、はいキリリンゴイチさんに。コメントフォーム、スケバンデカ。オッケー、ヒューガー。はい、everyone、this is キリリン51、ゲームディレクター、スケバンゲームズ。It's been two years since Nirvana was announced with a demo at TSG。Not much info has been released since then。And that's entirely our fault。Development have, has been incredibly troublesome due to a series of personal events。But we are now back in full production with some of the best ideas on world building the world has ever seen。We are working hard to get new media ready to release soon. Many of the big changes occurred right before the,、uh, these online events kicked in, so we couldn't realistically have something ready for them aside from some screenshots showing off screenshots, there you go,、uh, screenshots showing off new characters and feel of the bar. It's all still a work in progress, but hopefully, it shows that we are still indeed in the trenches fighting, fighting for our lives. Aside from Nirvana, we are also doing many more projects that will hopefully receive the same attention of our. Uh, same attention our bartending series has gotten, as we have a lot to say through our work, and it would be a shame if everything else bombed miserably. Thank you so much for everything, and we hope you stick around with us in the coming years. There we go. That was the only one with English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there must have been,、uh, there are gamers alone, but there must be games that、um, uh, you've never known. But wonder why Playzen has、uh, put themselves in this position. About nine and a half years ago. Oh, nine and a half years he's been doing Playzen. Nine and a half years ago, there wasn't a place. And the place to, wasn't a place to play or buy、uh, indie games in Japan.、Mm. Yeah, the environment wasn't ready. But there, are many, there were many amazing games even then. There were many, like,、um, feels,、uh, gives a vibe of the original creation.、Mm. So that's why they wanted to show that to the Japanese. That's why they started, started a place. 
There were three steps that they uh, wanted to accomplish uh, when they started up. There was no English indie game scene at the time in Japan. There were only like dojins then. There wasn't an indie game scene. The indie game name wasn't even um, out then. Yeah, people didn't understand what indie game were. They didn't know that you could, uh, they didn't know there were people. No, the people, there weren't many people who were actually making games and making a living in a small group. He wanted people to know, the Japanese people to know that there is an indie game scene, so he made, started localization. And then there were also people who started making indie games from Japan. That's what he wanted to do. And then he wanted people uh, who made games in Japan for those games to go out to the world. So localizing overseas. So English and yes, Chinese and also, also other, other languages. And we have made a few games like that. Okay, so that's what we have done. Wait, three steps. Did you say three steps? Indie game scene to Japan, take, send indie games out to the world. And third one was to all platforms and all languages, multi-language. They have, the, they are thinking about the next generation, not only the next console generation, but the next generation. So they've been doing this for a decade, so the next decade. So they've done localizing, publishing, PRs, but they also want porting and also investment. But that's, they've been doing that, but that's not the only thing that they want to do. The next thing they want to do is localizing. Yeah, so they've been trying to give, give, uh, producing, in, uh, showing indie games a lot. But there's, yes, there's, there's, there's a diverse genre. There's anime stuff, there's real stuff, there's horror. Yeah, yeah, but indie is crazy, crazy genres. Hmm. As a publisher, oh, as a, as a publisher, they, they're, told, they're often told that uh, as a publisher, they should concentrate on uh, a few genres or the selected genres. But he didn't want to do that. He said that wasn't fun to have a, only a small genre of games on his platform and plays them. The thing that he wants to tell the world is hmm. he wants to show the world indie game. What is indie game? He's been thinking about it for a long time. Okay, so there's an official site for this program now, and he's written there. Okay, so I've, I've noted this. There are games made by an individual or a small group uh, made not by demand, but a game that a creator wanted to make. Those games have a certain special passion. Mm. So there's something that really is charismatic, something that really pulls people. That is the uh, origin of creation, he feels. That it's not about a genre. It's not about taste. It's about passion, about the uh, temperature, the heat. The fire in yourself. Yeah, so yeah, it's really hard to word this, put it in words, yes, very hard. T-shirt, mm. our... <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so the indie scene has really progressed. It's really rich now and diverse. It's more, the trend now is more, maybe the focus now is slightly more on the money side. Something that um, sells well is made more often. That's what he feels. But he feels that he wants to sell games that won't sell well money-wise. But he wants to sell that passion, 
the, the power of a game to the world. That's what he wants to give out to the next generation, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, or the young, young or the old, new generation. Uh, uh, that's what this last message. <laughs> He's saying that the interpreters of English and Chinese might be a bit um, panicking now. Yes, slightly panicked. <laughs> Putting in new words. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, that's that's kind of, that's the kind of indie games that he has been choosing uh, to show on Playzen. And, and they have they have a sale, a big sale, yay! And here it's Nintendo Nintendo eShop, Steam. Steam is worldwide. Nintendo eShop, I think, is JP and Mark only. I think. Yep. So all the Playzen games, D4. Uh, Strange Telephone, Star Sky, Talk, Talkle was good, Kettle Brass was also fun, uh, Angel Death, Angels of Death for this, so say Aster Breed, good. What's that? Well, Met Metric Strike? I don't know that one. Okay, so Nintendo eShop and Steam, sale. Now's your chance. At least wish list. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do have a Twitch, by the way. I didn't know. You. Oh, oh, I can't see that. No. I have a YouTube channel too. Oh, so now it's time. Okay, it's gonna be cut off. So thanks, chat. Thanks, chat. Thanks, everyone looking. Thanks, play some game show. It was good fun. Hope it was informative, and hope you could understand everything. Thank you, everyone, everywhere. Again, chat. You guys were great. Yeah, it was fun doing this. Now this last comment, so I'm just going to say goodbye beforehand. He was very nervous, the giraffe was very nervous. He's shaking now. Yeah, he had a good crab fight. Or fight crab, sorry. <laughs> You've done all the games, right? Yes. Yes, I've done most of the games, played most of the games. They've, been, they've known each other for eight years. Mm. Oh, yeah. There is the first one. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. They're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good night, guys. Thanks. Jeffrey yeah. Crab won. And Gatchman, yes. How about you? Yes, indie game is. If, yeah, there's a lot of PC games on for indie, ne? yeah, that's true. Mm, there's many, many people who probably want to play it, but they don't have a PC. Mm. But recently, yes, there's many on yeah, Steam, uh, there's many on Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. A lot of being ported, yes, a lot are being ported, which is great. Xbox doing well, Microsoft, you know. Uh, Sony's also doing well, Nintendo's also doing great. Mm. Yes, so they, so they want uh, everyone to find new developers and new publishers, new games. Yes, man. Or, or look for curators. Look for curators, man. Look for people who introduce many games. They are gems out in the world which you've never seen before and they are so tasty. I'm Mr. Tarisan, his last comment. That's a sale there again. Yes, I think that we've given... Oh, yes. The Mad Father, there was a little uh, picture there. That was from the developer. He drew it for uh, this program. Thank you very much. About 20 titles we've shown. Hmm. There are about 10 titles that they haven't announced yet. What? I, I, I have no knowledge of this. I remember chat at the start. That right. I never knew about that game. Uh, thank you very much for the long viewing. Hope you all had a good time. Is he? What's What is he? Oh, it's <laughs> yeah, she feels that it's nice, you know, Steam games to um, see new indie games is naturally is very really good fun. Right.
ください。Yes. そしてまたプレイズムについてもっと知りたい方は。If you want to know more about Playism, there is a site link somewhere probably. それでは皆様、ここまでありがとうございました。ではまたお会いできる。I'll see you again, boys. Thank you again. ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。